Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 31st of 2022 well, it is titled LDN 43, the Cosmic Bat Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image in the sky, perhaps looking like a gigantic bat, except 12 light years long. So much longer than a typical bat here on Earth. And this is actually an example of a dark nebula. And a dark nebula is a dark dusty region where the material is dense enough to block out the light from behind it. So behind this bat are many stars. However, we cannot see those stars because the dust is so dense there that it blocks out all of the light from behind it. Now it's not a super dense area like anything we have here on Earth, but it is particles scattered out one here and one there over light years that eventually block out all of the light coming from behind it. So no matter where you look in towards that nebula, you see a dust particle similar to or being in the middle of a forest. And no matter which direction you look, your eye will meet a tree trunk. So you can't see out of it until you get close to the edge. And that's quite similar to what we see here. So there are plenty of stars behind this very dark region as well. Now what is happening inside this cosmic bat? Well, dark nebulae are regions of star formation, meaning that we are seeing stars in the process of formation. Actually, we can't quite see them here. Why? Well, because they are buried within this dark nebula. And when we look using ordinary light, we can't see through that. However, longer wavelengths of light are better able to penetrate through the dust and give us a view of the interior. So if we were to look at this in infrared light, we would be able to penetrate through this dust and could look into the stars that are just beginning that formation process within the flying bat. So the flying bat here will not last forever and over hundreds of thousands of years, it will eventually evaporate out into space as new stars form and eat away at the bat from inside their intense radiation pressure and stellar winds pushing aside the material and giving the form of the bat perhaps other forms as a temporary measure before finally being dispersed out into space. So that was our picture of the day for October 31st of 2022. It was titled LDN 43, the Cosmic Bat Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be massive stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.